I just saw The Hunger Games 2 Catching Fire. I don't know why, because I knew the first one sucked. The first one, I, I made a whole video about it. It was one of the worst movies I ever saw. It was, it was fucking worse than Twilight. It was one of the worst movies I probably have ever seen, except for maybe... No, I can't think of anything worse than uh, The Hunger Games. Um, you know, like, it was supposed to be like, oh, it's going to be this awesome gladiatorial deathmatch thing, and what? There's, like, almost no violence. There's no blood. There's, like, no weapon. There's no cool weapons. There are no lasers. There are no, there are no shotguns. There are no chainsaws. There are no, no one gets blown up with landmines. No one gets thrown out of a building. No one gets shot in the head. Vietnam War style. Okay, well there were, there were landmines, but no one even like gets blown up in the face with them. I, any, I made a whole movie about that. But anyway, okay. The only reason I saw Hunger Games two was because, uh, well, first off, I got dragged into it, and sec by my friends, and second, I I saw it for free because our friend happens he works at the concession stand at the movie theater and get us all in for free. That's the only reason I saw this movie, and I still feel like I want my freaking money back because. Uh, basically, um, well, I don't know why they'd make a sequel considering that, like, she won, her and the boyfriend guy, they won the Hunger Games in the first one, so it's kind of like, I don't know where you're gonna go with a sequel to that in the first place, but, you know, the first one was a hit, so they had to make a second one, and basically, um, the second one is, well, like, the first half of the movie, basically the entire movie is like a 17 year old girl basically the movie is about an aging dictator trolling a 17 year old girl because when you're the leader of a all-powerful police state the the one thing uh an aging old man with like a huge mansion and like all the money and power in the world is going to care about is harassing a 17 year old girl for winning a contest for she's basically harassing a, a 17 year old girl for winning a game show that he himself set up and he, like, I remember, like, there was a scene where he said, like, there has to be a winner because it's supposed to give the people hope. But now we're going to, like, harass and troll the winner because um, he's, like, a 70-year-old rich dude and he doesn't have anything better to do, I guess. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just really, like, and the second half of the movie is basically just a rehash of the first half where they have the gladiatorial games again and they go back into, they go into this, like, I guess the first time it was, like, some kind of forest and this time it's, like, a jungle or some shit and... They basically do the same thing in the first movie over, only with, like, now this time it's adults and not just, like, like the kids. And that's basically the main difference in the movie. And, you know, like, it's really just not very... It's hard to take seriously because, like, you know, like, this girl, like, she killed, like, 20, 20 other people in the first movie, but now she's, like, scared that this old... Like, this old dude who's, like, stalking her and, like, lo like looking at, like, hidden camera videos of her kissing some guy in the forest. Because, yeah, it's a creepy thing for an old dude to do. Where's Chris Hansen when you need him? But, um, yeah, like, she ki she killed, like, like 20 other kids in the first movie. But now I'm scared. She's so scared because this, like, this, uh, this 70-something-year-old dude who doesn't kill anyone or shoot anyone in the face or anything... Like, that she could easily just, like, you know, shoot him with an arrow or, like, slit her throat or something. This girl, this girl knows how to fight. She killed, like, 20 people in the first movie. But now she's scared of this old dude who, like, can't even do anything to her. That, you know, I could beat that guy in a fight. You know, he's, he's not a scary, like, villain. He's probably one of the worst villains, like, ever. Because, like, Darth Vader, like, you actually see him, like, jack people up. Um, you know, like, Voldemort, he actually goes around killing people and shit. Like, this guy, he just, like sits around his mansion and, you know, like, smells the roses, like, literally smelling the roses and, like, and trolls, like, 17-year-old girls for winning reality TV game shows. Because that's, like, because it's really hard to take this whole premise of, like, gladiatorial games on, like, being, like, a televised, you know, blood sport reality show seriously. Because, well, first off, like, like, if, if there was a country... Like, look what happened with Syria. If there was a country that was doing, like, with, like what happened with Syria or with Iraq or, like, when there's, like, if there's a country that was seriously, like, doing this and, like, making people, like, kill each other on, like, reality TV, like, the United States would definitely do something about it. Do you really think after, like, they, 
after look at what happened in Syria. They just used like chemical wep like poison gas on one town, and like the United like Barack Obama was ready to like go to war with them. If you think like there was like a, a first world, because this is like if you look at like the like the dictatorship capital in this movie, it's like obviously like you know like like a first world place, and with like the outer area like zones are just like sort of ghettos they make where they make the people work in their factories or whatever but it's like this is obviously if a first world or set, like if a major country was like doing some shit where they were making people like kids especially kill each other on tv do you think the united states would just sit by it and let that happen like the like the un would like the un would take pan m to like international criminal court if any shit like that like were going to happen and and if the un di wasn't along with it, the united states would definitely step in and it's just, like, it's just hard to really take this seriously. And, uh, so basically if you want to watch a 70-year-old, uh, uh, a really, uh, not at all threatening 70-year-old man troll a teenager for winning a game show for two and a half hours, this is definitely the movie for you. Um, Katniss is, well, she's kind of a dope. She really doesn't do anything interesting. And when they actually go into the gladiatorial games again, they're not very many cool weapons, you know, there's no poison gas. Well, there's poison gas, but it, like, only kills, like, a couple of people. You know, like, they're, like, like, get attacked by monkeys, but, like, they don't even kill, they only kill a couple of people. Like, it's not even that violent. It's not, like, scary or anything. And, like, you know, and the dictator, like, what, President Snow, he's, like, the lamest villain ever. In the first movie, he didn't do anything. In the second movie, all he does is troll this teenager for two hours. Like, I, like, if I killed, like, 17 other physically fit people my own age, and then, like, the 70-year-old man was, like, threatening to kill my, oh, I'm gonna kill your family, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin your life, I'd be like, dude, fuck you, there's nothing you could do to me, fuck, what the fuck, per oh, perfect, the one time I finally get a freaking YouTube, film the whole, what the, the whole freaking block is out, what the hell? Are those, are those airplanes? <laughs>